there are a number of bills before the U.S. Senate that could help lower the cost of some prescription drugs, including a bill that caps out-of-pocket insulin costs for patients with insurance at $35 a month. Cronkite News reporter Nick Shesky attended a hearing in Phoenix where lawmakers heard about the need to contain prescription drug costs. Arizona families and seniors are facing choices that nobody should ever have to make. The issue being tackled at this hearing, prescription drug costs are growing faster than people's incomes. Insulin is a drug that is not option if, optional if you're a type 1 diabetic. You need it to survive. And many people have to take it for decades, and they do. Yet Americans, we pay 10 times more than folks in many other countries. And it's not just insulin. Medications needed for several illnesses have gone up in price. Judy Wilson, who has been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, shared how she had to give up her medication, Copaxin, because she couldn't afford its rising cost of over $7,000 per year. After discussions with my doctor, I decided to go off my medications. I didn't have any other options and have so far been very lucky that I haven't had any relapses. Dr. Sugana Karapana says that patients rationing out medication, cutting pills in half, or going off meds because they can no longer afford them is quite common. I can't tell you the number of times I have heard my patients say, Doc or Doctora, please look at all of my meds and tell me what can I skip. It costs me too much each month and I need to stop at least two or three of them. The pharmaceutical companies maintain it is expensive to develop new medications, which is one reason for higher drug costs in the United States. But one thing Senator Kelly would like to see is an out-of-pocket cap for patients with Medicare Part D. Capping the out-of-pocket expenses at $2,000 for Medicare Part D plans. I mean, we have to get this done. In Phoenix, Nick Shesky, Cronkite News. Another bill the Senate is considering would allow the federal government through Medicare to negotiate prices for the most expensive drugs. These include medications to treat cancer, blood clots, diabetes, and other chronic diseases.